All right, today we're going to be keeping it low carb and also plant based at the same time with this fried cauliflower over spaghetti squash and vegan Alfredo cream sauce. Now, if you haven't been put on to spaghetti squash, then I don't know where you have been at. This is like your number one go to if you want to keep it low carb and full of flavor. So the first thing you're going to want to do is cut your spaghetti squash in half. And please, please be careful. Do not try to do this at home, cutting it off fast like me. I'm a professional, okay? You definitely want to take your time cutting it down the middle. Then we're just going to scoop out all of those seeds. And we're going to season it with some olive oil and some vegetable seasoning. And make sure you scoop out all of the seeds because it's nothing like enjoying your dish and then biting into a couple of seeds mm -mm. and we're gonna just lightly season this like i said this is just vegetable seasoning which consists of garlic salt pepper onion powder garlic powder just a nice blend of seasonings and you can go ahead and also add some regular salt and pepper i like to flip it over and then bake it at 375 for about 40 minutes and when they're done, obviously you're going to let them cool off first. I don't even know why I was trying to take this out and it was piping hot. So just let that cool off and then we're going to continue. Next for our fried cauliflower steak, you're going to take a whole head of cauliflower and cut a nice thick slice just like this. I'm going to be using two pieces. So this is the first piece and you see how it's nice and put together. I'm just going to cut off the bottom core because that's really hard and it just doesn't taste well or cook well. And I'm going to be using two pieces just in case one of them falls apart or something. You know, just want to have another piece just in case. So I'm just going to cut it up just like that. Next, I'm going to make a wet batter and I'm also going to make a dry batter for our cauliflower. And dry batter is just going to consist of some flour, paprika, and vegetable seasoning. And the wet batter is going to consist of the same things with just some water. So you're going to go ahead and dip your cauliflower into the wet batter and then go ahead and dip it into the flour. I got my oil heated on 350 and I just went ahead and dropped those bad boys in. And it came out looking golden, brown, and crispy. Just look at that. Look at that. I just love the minimal preparation that it takes to even fry cauliflower. Like, you don't have to boil it or anything. You simply just batter it up and fry it up, and it's nice and soft on the inside. Now I'm just putting together our vegan alfredo sauce for our um, squash, and this just consists of heavy cream and vegan parmesan, equal parts. Then I'm going in with some spinach, cherry tomatoes, Tossing in our squash, sauteing that all up with some garlic salt, more vegetable seasoning. Then I just went ahead and poured over our sauce and continue to mix it all together until it's nice and creamy. And make sure for your sauce, you season it to your liking. I just threw a little Tony Chatteries in there and it gave it all the flavor that I needed. So this is really simple. I mean, we got just simple ingredients, spinach cherry tomatoes you can add whatever other vegetables you like broccoli peppers onion i'm just keeping it real simple and i really love that this pasta is very thin and because it's similar to like angel hair pasta i love love angel hair pasta so the fact that this is nice and thin and light just makes it even more better so we just took our fried cauliflower placed it on top and then i went ahead and put some extra sauce on top and then top it with some fresh parsley and now it's time to dig in but first let's admire this beautiful dish so so easy it literally took me only a couple minutes to make i mean besides making the squash you can make that ahead of time and then just prep it up for your meal when you're ready to eat it the cauliflower is the perfect texture and the squash is just so so like i mean it was so so good i had to dance i'm not even gonna lie y'all give this recipe a try and let me know what you think 